Hi, I'm Andrew Wasson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's August 10th, 2014, and this week we're going to do a lesson on Chicago-style blues licks. Now, this week's question was sent in from Thomas. He's out in Tampa, Florida, and he wrote in with this email. I just purchased your ebook, Blues Guitar Styles, and I was curious if you could do a quick lesson with a couple of Chicago-style blues licks in 6-8 time signature. There's lots of Chicago blues jams in 6-8, and their licks seem really classic sound Anyway, thanks for making the ebook and thanks for making all your weekly YouTube guitar lessons. They're great. From Thomas in Tampa, Florida, USA. Well, hey, thanks for writing in, Thomas. You know, the uh, Chicago style blues licks in 6 8 time are actually fairly straightforward to perform. Most of the trouble is uh, generally when students are trying to learn these licks straight from tab and there's an unfamiliar level of skill with the overall understanding of 6 8 time signature. So let's head over to the guitar and not only clear up how to count in 6-8 but also learn some licks within this excellent time signature for playing the blues. Well, 6-8 time is basically a triple meter feel. Uh, that's actually like more, uh, I guess you could say like half of a measure of standard 4-4 four, four time if you were to view it entirely as triplets, uh, which of course would just be really 2-4 time viewed entirely as triplets. But we would end up assigning and therefore counting the beat differently. What I mean is, you know, imagine counting eighth note triplets in 2-4 time, but instead of counting in a typical style of going, you know, like one and uh, two and uh, we would go and count it like this instead one two three four five six and in six eight time we assign the beat to a dotted quarter note so every beat is basically thought of as an eighth note but when we assign the beat in, in other words where we tap our foot we're viewing that as a dotted quarter note uh, let me go to a C and think of things off of a C7 chord up here and uh, first of all here's a measure on the beat so one two three four five six and if we were to go and count on every eighth note it would sound like this one two three four five six so basically that's how you view and count the six eight time All right, so now you can tell counting the beat in 6-8 time signature really isn't all that difficult to do. So next, let's go ahead and perform a repetitive blues lick that's quite typical of something like maybe Freddie King would play. Uh, but it's you know also the kind of lick you might hear even Eric Clapton do in his days with the band Cream or whatnot. It's basically just a pull-off style repetitive lick that works well against a dominant seventh chord. So in this case, the lick is going to be established using an a E dominant seventh chord I'm going to use it in real typical Chicago blues style it's gonna be a little bit different you know than what you might think of uh, the lick begins uh, off of that to E seventh we're gonna begin off of the sixth the major six would be a C sharp there of that underlying E dominant seventh chord it's gonna to move to the perfect fifth just do that through a pull off and then we're gonna resolve check this out to a minor third so basically G natural so really different sound and for you to be able to hear that while I play the lick, what I'm going to do is I uh, have programmed in an E dominant seventh chord into my loop pedal. I'm going to fire that up and I'm going to play the lick over that. So uh, check this out. Really cool sound. Well, the next lick is a very common sounding blues idea in 6-8 and something that we might hear played by a guitarist like uh, perhaps Buddy Guy. And, um, you know, this lick kind of plays itself out to resolve to the flat 7 there of the chord. And, you know, the chord that we're going to use is a C dominant 7th. So the B flat note is going to be our target tone. The lick sounds like this. Here it is again. and we're targeting into that B flat, the flat seven tone of the C dominant seventh chord. Now I've got that C seven chord in my loop pedal. I'm gonna hit the loop pedal, fire that up, give you a chance to hear how this lick sounds uh, with that C seven chord played underneath.
Well, the next 6-8 time signature guitar lick I have is a real classic sounding one. In fact, I have a feeling that you'll probably recognize it almost right away. It's been applied by nearly every one of the famous Chicago blues players. doesn't matter if you're looking at, you know, like Muddy Waters or uh, maybe even someone like Earl Hooker. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but, you know, if you haven't, check him out. Uh, he's got some old footage of him playing on YouTube there. And um, if you can find a clip, there's a really good one of him playing with his teeth. It's really cool. But uh, more than likely, you'll probably, you know, if you've been more exposed to, say, you know, players like Hendrix, you'll probably kind of hear this one more resonate to you as sort of a Jimi Hendrix style lick. But anyway, here's how this one sounds. It's set up to cover an underlying chord of, you know, you could either do it as a B minor or a B dominant seventh. I'm going to think of it myself more sort of like as a B dominant seventh sound. Uh, but here's the lick. It goes like this. Here it is again. And I've got a B dominant seventh chord in the loop pedal. I'm just going to fire that up, give you a chance to hear how this lick sounds under that B dominant seventh chord. All right, I still have one more lick left to show you before we wrap things up. This idea is another real classic sounding lick that I'm sure you'll probably recognize from its use in just countless Chicago blues numbers. It really leans in the direction of guys like, I'd say Luther Allison would be, you know, this kind of lick, maybe even Mike Bloomfield, if you're not familiar with him, check out Mike Bloomfield, man. Uh, absolutely stellar player. Uh, the lick is set up to cover the harmony of the sounds of an A7 chord. Uh, the lick goes like this. It's got that double bend there at the end of the lick. Half, uh, uh, first it's a full step bend, and then it does a step and a half, so it takes it even further. Very cool sound. And um, it's over an A7, like I said, and I'm gonna fire that loop pedal up and give you a chance to hear what this sounds like with the A7 chord in the background. That nice? Okay, let's try maybe one more time before we wrap things up here. Here we go. Well, triple meter feel of 6-8 really lends itself well to the sound of the Chicago blues guitarists and how they perform their lines. You know, guys like Muddy Waters, Otis Rush, or Earl Hooker were but a few of the great Chicago guitarists who applied uh, the triple meter feel with fantastic use of just general techniques like hammer-ons, pull-offs, and speedier lines, and of course, uh, incredible vibrato. So aside from checking out the uh, licks that I've covered here, definitely do yourself a favor and start listening to the Chicago blues guitar greats who really put this style of guitar playing on the map. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for today. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week, and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now. I'm Andrew Watson from Creative Guitar Studio. You know, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate player, sometimes it can be confusing where to start and where to go with learning to play guitar. So if you're looking for a lesson plan that really breaks down one of the most popular guitar styles, then my new ebook on blues guitar styles should fit the bill. This is more than just a brief overview of a 12 bar blues progression and a few blues licks and scales that you might find in a lot of other books. This lesson plan will will start to help you to both understand and expand on whatever blues genre you're into. And you don't even have to be a blues fan to appreciate all the information in this lesson guide. Uh, keep in mind that the blues is the number one guitar style that will give you a place to go and expand your guitar playing experience. So even if you're not a huge blues fan, even if you feel like you're all over the place and you've just decided that you need to ground yourself in a comprehensive guitar lesson plan, my Blues Guitar Styles Masterclass course will certainly make a difference for you. 
The Blues Guitar Styles course is over 50 pages of lesson topics covering popular open and movable chords for playing blues. There's also two chapters dedicated to helping the student understand everything there is to know about blues progressions. And that's not all. There's chapters on styles coverage for early blues rock and soul R&B. There's a comprehensive blues guitar technique section covering hybrid picking, finger picking, slide, and open tunings. Plus there's even a section on rhythmic feel and triple meter blues time signatures. And of course, this lesson plan contains all of the patterns for the blues pentatonic scales as well as dozens of blues licks, plus a chapter devoted to improvisation. But to add to the value of this lesson plan, I've also included 27 MP3 audio files demonstrating every tab example notated in the ebook. It's a tremendous value for a blues course like this and one you'll only find available through creativeguitarstudio.com.